Question number four says, use the table to graph the relationship between x and y. Make sure you label the table properly. The first thing I need to do is look at my x column and determine how I'm going to number my x axis on my graph. So the x axis is the one across the bottom, so I'm going to label that x, and this is skip counting by ones. So I'm going to go ahead and label my graph by ones. I'm going to start at zero at the origin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then I need to also label my y-axis, which is the up and down, and then label the lines on the y-axis so I can best graph my points. So we are counting by 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'm going to go ahead and start Skip count by ones, but I'm going to start, instead of starting at zero, I'm going to start at eight down here. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Now you can do this as long as your intervals on your axis are equal. You can't count, start skip counting by ones and then switch to threes or fours in the middle of it. All right, so the first thing I need to do is graph my first point. I'm going to switch here and do x is 1 and y is 8. So I'm going to start down here at the origin and go over to the right 1 space and up to the 8. Well, the 8 in my graph is right on the bottom, so I'm going to put my dot right there. The next line the next row says that x is 2 and y is 9. So I'm going to start at 0, 8, go over to the right 2 and up to 9, and put a dot there. Done with that one. Next is 3, 10, so moving to the right to 3 and up to 10. My dot goes there. Done with that one. x is 4 and y is 11, so moving over to the 4 and up to the 11. And then the last one is 5, 12. So I'm going to move over to the 5 and up to the 12. Last but not least, we're going to connect the dots to create a line and, as always, putting an arrow.